Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video on how to be productive and to make the most out of your time and just general either with work, sixth form, college, school or just general life. Here are my kind of top tips to be productive. If you know me, you know I love to be super duper organised, very productive. It makes me so happy when I'm organised and I just wanted to share my tips with you on how to be productive, especially if you've got mock exams coming up or anything like that, you might want to do it. And I think just in general life, you just want to be kind of a little bit more put together and it's quite easy um, once you get in the swing of things. Also, thank you for 1K followers on Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, I'll link it in the description for you to follow me if you want. Um, but yeah, I recently hit 1,000 followers and I was really excited because Whenever you get into the thousands, everything just seems so much nicer. So yeah, thanks for that, for those of you that already follow me. But, oh my God, battery's 10%. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have actually written a list of tips to go through. So my first tip is always write a list. I am gonna put this out there. If you are not a list writer, then when you get writing lists, you will become addicted. I absolutely love writing lists. I will write a list for um, what I'm going to do that day, for what videos I need to film, what Christmas presents I need to buy people, absolutely anything I can think of because I love writing. It makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel really put together. It makes me feel like I know what I'm going to be doing and sub kind of headings within that kind of category is you need to make a list that is manageable. You cannot write something or some things down that is not manageable like within the time that you've got. And I think that's kind of the main thing because if it's not manageable, you're not gonna get it done. So just kind of set yourself smaller things than you can even think that you can get done. So don't, you know, really put yourself to the max. Give yourself enough time to do everything and extra time. Write stuff down that you always do. So this is talking about a list, for example, um, when you're like at home and kind of like what you want to get done always write the stuff down that you do normally as well, just to kind of help yourself know what order you want to do things in, because a lot of the time you can write a list of what you want to get done that day, but you don't write it in order or anything like that. And that comes on to my next point, which is making sure you write the timings with that. I'm gonna show you one of my lists that I make in a second, and I always write the timings with it as well, just because that means that I know exactly when I need to do each thing, and I know when that's gonna happen and what I'm gonna do, and each day I do the exact same thing. I pretty much write the exact same list every single day, but because I've written it, it means when I get home, I know exactly what I'm doing. And, you know, it's just the way I go. I know if you're not that into that kind of thing, then that's fair enough. Um, this is an example of a list that I make. I'll hopefully be able to do an overlay clip. But this is what it looks like here. And this is just a typical day. This was Friday the 10th of November. I have a break. You've got to make sure you give yourself breaks. I then do some biology revision and maths revision, each for 20 minutes long. Again, short intervals. I will be doing separate revision videos, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much. Do a workout. I'm gonna talk about that in another point later on in this video. Um, again, another break with um, chilling out, editing and watching YouTube, that kind of thing. You've got to make sure that you're giving yourself that break time so that you can always look forward to whilst you're revising. I then have my tea at about seven o'clock, give or take, whatever. Um, then I go back in there and do some more revision for biology and maths and yes I do do chemistry as well but this was just for this particular day so where my lists tend to change is what revision I actually do so I will switch um, swap and change with what revision I do but that's just what I decided to do that day. Then I will edit a video if I've got one to edit and then I'll get ready for bed at about 9.30 and I actually go to sleep at about 10.30. So I literally plan what I'm doing with the times and it just makes me feel so much more organized. So yeah, my first tip, writing a list. The second one is to take lots of breaks and aiming for each break keeps you motivated. So like you've seen on my list, I always take little breaks here and there just so that I'm kind of motivated. Now for me, on my list I wrote down two sections where I will take a break but actually when I'm doing my revision I will do five minutes of reading out revision then I will have literally a 20 second pause 
and then I will carry on with more five minutes. And in that 20 second pause, I just stretch, I just look around the room. Literally, I'm such a weirdo, but it means that I'm, it's like the time is so much more manageable. I don't look at um, my timer thinking, oh, I've got 15 minutes left. I think, oh, I've got like five minutes left until I have my 20 second break. And that will not work for the majority of people, but it works for me because a lot of people will get not focused if they keep stopping and starting. I always say to stop working in the evening time. Make sure that you, when you write your list, that you plan everything, leaving that time in the evening to relax because I feel like if you're gonna go to bed, you're not gonna sleep very well if you've just done lots of work. So I would say give yourself at least, I don't know, two hours before you go to sleep. Sorry, back again. Sorry, someone just knocked on the door and I was like, oh, who's that? As soon as I got to the door, this guy just went back into his car again. And I was like, oh, who's that? Because it wasn't like a, it was just a normal car. And he tried to deliver a parcel and it was from Beauty Bay and I've just ordered some stuff off Beauty Bay and I was like, Aah! so now I'm gonna have to wait until they deliver again, which I think is tomorrow, which is annoying. Anyway, back to it. I can't remember where I was to be completely honest with you. But yeah, just keep your evenings free of like anything just to kind of chill out and then you'll feel so much more like revitalized in the morning. Okay, I always say to keep your weekends quite free. One of my days, like a Sunday, is where I like to, I actually look forward to these days, um, is where I do all my filming, so I film two videos, and then the rest of the day is spent doing revision. And that's where I have one of my days, which actually I find this quite relaxing because I'm just doing it in my stride. And then the other day is absolutely no work at all, but go out and do something. And it just kind of mixes it up a little bit. It kind of, I don't know, it just makes you feel a little bit better. But having one day on the weekend where you actually do stuff and do revision makes me feel like my weekend has been worthwhile. And it makes Monday feel a lot better because I haven't got tons to do. Uh, my third tip is to only do short bursts of revision and keep your mind occupied. So obviously I only do 20 minutes of revision um, four times every night. So that's in total um, an hour and 20. And that's just because I would rather do four short bursts of 20 minutes than to do an hour and 20 all in one go. It just wouldn't go into my head. This way, every time I sit down to do my revision, I feel so kind of ready to do it and motivated and it all just sticks in my head. And I know that this is based upon me and how I am because I know a lot of people would rather do it an hour and 20 and that suits them. So I can't really give that much advice on that, but that's just how I see it. Number four, oh no, my little page has come out, mate. Uh, anyway, number four, think of everything as a benefit to you. This is my life motto is every negative think of as a positive everything that you do think of it as having a benefit to you I know there's a lot of things in life that happen that you know is very negative and you can't really think of it as a positive but I just mean everyday kind of general life situations you have to think of them as positives for example doing revision don't think of it as such a negative thing think I can't wait to get revising because I want to revise ready for my exams I'm all prepared I'm doing it even if it's a little bit later on I am getting my revision done and it's all about thinking about it as a benefit. You know, your brain is learning, you are keeping your brain active, doing a workout, you are making your body feel better, you are burning calories whilst also releasing endorphins, making you feel happier. And just kind of think of everything as if it is a positive thing and it will just make every task that you do so much better. Number five is do a workout. Now this to me is a biggie. I have recently got into doing workouts quite a lot and what I mean by workout is kind of like 15 minutes every day um, bar like one or two days of the week. Um, and that isn't a lot really, but when it's like full on cardio, you can really kind of get the energy that you've needed to release throughout the day out in that one burst. And I just love the fact that I can just really kind of whack out a workout and it makes me feel so much more motivated it makes me feel happier and I don't know why it's about releasing endorphins but it literally I don't do a workout for the fitness benefits I do a workout because it makes me feel better afterwards and if I've done a workout the day before this day that I'm talking about I will feel so much more motivated to eat healthily to do another one to be productive 
I would say even if it's like a, a little ab workout, just do it, you'll feel better. Um, but I think cardio really is like where it hits the nail on the head, that's a real good one. And number six, this is my final point, plan something that you can look forward to. This is what it's all about. Like life can be quite challenging. You have like challenges in your life, even if it's small things like having to revise or having to do homework, look forward to things that are happening in life. For example, even Christmas, just big things that happen in your life that you're excited for, look forward to it. Smaller things like what you're doing on the weekend, look forward to it and it will make you want to do this work because you're looking forward to that thing that's happening. Even, I don't know, like get yourself a donut and eat it in the evening. Look forward to that donut. Like these small things just make a massive difference. So always kind of plan things that you can look forward to um, just so that everything kind of is a little bit better. So that is everything for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos because I am doing um, a lot more kind of life related kind of sort yourself out videos. Um, so please stay tuned for them and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!